Welcome back to my tutorials. It's been a while since I've done one last. I'm going to be remaking uh, my steam engine tutorial today. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is put down the minimalistic approach to creating one from uh, absolutely the bare minimum. Um, the first thing I'm going to need uh, is steam controller, a small one. I'm going to do everything small just to demonstrate. Followed by a small boiler a single pipe one piston which is two meters long which can be found uh, in the section for the gearbox and I'm also going to use a case crank in the same place make sure it orientates in the opposite direction to your piston note the side of the large funnel and on the side of the large funnel you want to place a small gearbox facing towards it pointing in like so uh, if you get this correct you should see the two attached so you can see that they're now attached uh, at this point they would normally be going around but there is one thing missing you're missing the fuel so there's no actual fuel on this vehicle uh, to make it work you require material storage so I'm just going to use one material storage here and that should be it. Something's not right. I see why. It doesn't think it's got any raw resources because I think my character's giving it is turned off. There we go. So my uh, avatar has had it turned back on by using the F5 key. Um, now you can see the piston starting to turn. Make sure that you have got resource storage in the vehicle. Um, or else you just won't get anything. So you can see it's going pretty slow. We're getting a, a, a nice 79 power. So we can increase this by... Uh, let's come out of build mode. Uh, if we underwater ah, too fast right okay so we can increase this by looking at the boiler control and increasing that to 100% and we can see this thing now increasing in speed okay this is running around the 300 and something mark 310 320 something like that so that is the most minimalistic approach you can take to creating a steam engine I'm going to show you a couple extra techniques now on top of this. Uh, the first of which will be to uh, make it spin faster. So I'm going to add two more boilers on each side of the main boiler with their own control because you do require a steam control on every boiler set that is separate. So if it's in line it inc it's counted, if it's not in line then it needs a separate set. I'm then going to create a, uh, a five-way steam pipe for the middle here, and the reasons will become apparent in a moment, with the uh, middle one pointing upwards. There we go. And now I'm going to add two corner pipes, one to each set. Uh, there we go, one and two. So you can see now it's going, it's venting quite high, and it's dropping back down because we're venting really massively. Okay, so we got down to 300 and something power. We're still getting some power out of this, but obviously it's a lot lower than what it could be back down to where it would be on just a single point. So what we can fit is a pressure release valve. So we just stick one of these on the top like so and the power will increase. Uh, so the pressure release valve reduces the amount of steam uh, released from the system. You can see it's about 390 now. We can change this based on the pressure on the actual pipe. So if we look at the pipe we can see that the pressure is currently 186. So if we close off the valve for anything below let's say 250 Let's, let's, let's call it let's call it 300 there we go 300 you can see the pressure is now building up in the pipe the release valve will not vent until it reaches at least 300 so to make it reach a bit higher we can open up the boiler control on another boiler increase that and now we can see that the steam pressure has gone up and now the vent is open because it's over 300 you can see this thing's chuffing away quite nicely. We've reached 680 odd power with this, this vent. Now, something you can do at this point is you can add another piston. You will get a slight increase in um, 
what do you call it, a slight increase in power. So I'm going to move the storage to over there. I'm going to add a new crank and add a new piston. And as you can see immediately, it slowed it down because this piston is actually being pushed around by the other piston, meaning it's actually losing power. Uh, because the piston doesn't have any steam going into it either, then you know it's just not going to get anywhere. So what we can do is we can turn this corner pipe into a, a three-way. So rude. Like so. And now we have more power going in. And you can see immediately that it's, it's increased a little bit. It's not made it massively faster. Uh, we can also see that we went from 680 to 718 power. So an increase of about 40 or 50 or something like that. Uh, we can increase it further by now updating this boiler control. But before I do, you can see the pressure in the pipe is only 169 now. We've reduced the pressure by adding more um, pistons. So let's increase the burn rate on the final boiler. And we can now see that the steam pressure is increasing again. We can also see that our engine power is in the 900s. And it's not going to go over 1,000, but it's much more respectable. You, you can run a decent size amount of engines. For a craft this size, it's more than enough. Uh, you could even have a small shield if you really wanted. Uh, one thing to note with the um, engine power generated by steam engine is it's not equal to the same amount of power generated by a fuel engine. So 958 power generated by a fuel engine does not equal 958 power generated by a steam engine. Fuel engine power is much stronger. Don't ask why, it just happens to work that way. So 200 power to 900 power kind of thing. Something about it just sort of draining it just by using it. Anyway, um, I hope this has been useful for someone. Um, I have some old videos which I st which are still up, um, which I'll slowly be replacing with these updated ones uh, to demonstrate these sort of uh, concepts and ideas. Uh, this was using small boilers. Uh, I do have my most popular video with um, large boilers out there. Uh, so if you want to see a, a video with large boilers instead, please have a look and uh, see what you can think. Let's see what you think. I've also got some ideas with steam. So I've uh, created one which is actually cre uh, uh, a steam engine style. That's actually quite uh, quite neat looking. I did a sort of concept with that. Um, yeah, if you've got any ideas or, or comments rather for this uh, video or set, sets of new videos that I'm creating, let me know. So it's been a while. I've had quite a lot on my plate since. And uh, yeah, so let me know. Thank you for watching.